this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Challenge. And let's create... Well, this is the second round between me and Viticus. We're having a competition. I failed last time because I starved to death. Let's just call it Hardcore Mode Round 2. And we agree to the seed round two, so we'll both be on the same map, hopefully. Structure's on, yep. And, yep, create world. And here it is. And that should be a rising sun. For a second there I thought it was maybe setting. And we have a few new rules. Uh, most importantly, in <coughs> pardon me, most importantly is that when we gather our resources, we have to store them as soon as we can in the nether to make it more challenging. So there's a risk that the resources we do collect gets destroyed. And I see some coal over there. Oops. I don't know why that was on. Or yeah, I do. That's actually, I remember now. I was filming the intro and outro for this. And so I gotta collect some wood, of course, and I saw some coal at that snowy place. And my first priority on my mind is food, food, food. Still not wearing a shirt. I don't know when I'm gonna fix that. I'm too lazy. Maybe I'll craft some armor so that I can have a shirt. I don't need that. What am I doing? I need a pick. More than anything. Well, not more than food, but... That's... Whoa. Wow. Okay. I can't eat that. As it is, anyways. And I can't really use snow for anything unless maybe snow golems. I haven't learned how to make those yet. I know, I know, there's like a million videos, but I never watched any of them. Because I got kind of bored with the, uh, well not bored, but I got to a point with the pre-releases where I just wanted to wait until the finished product was out. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm experiencing it all in one big rush. Plenty of sheep. I should kill them for their wool so I can make a bed. That's priority number two, but I can take care of it right now, so I may as well. Make a stone sword. And normally you would shear them, but I don't have any iron for shears. Unless there was uh, another rule. What was it? I can't remember. Hmm. I might have to tab out in a minute to check what that rule is. Hold on. I'll save and quit just to make sure so you guys know I'm not cheating or anything. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And the rule... There wasn't really so much, I just sort of uh, glazed over information that I left out. Uh, what, what I mean by protecting our uh, resources in the nether, or storing it there, is uh, I think we're either going to build like towers out of like gold, iron, and gold blocks, so that like there's the possibility that they can be destroyed, so we'll have to protect them. Oop, I don't want to run like that. I'll die of starvation in the first video. Uh, or maybe just have them in chests in the nether. That's pretty dangerous as it is. So, either way, I guess. I'm not going to be a stickler. I can't say... I'm not going to say, oh, Vitigus, he didn't do it this way. So, I win, and or, or you lose, or something like that. I'm not going to be a jerk about it. There's too many sheep and not enough food. Why can't I eat these sheep? I don't care if they got wool. I'll pick it out of my teeth. I'm so hungry. I will be hungry. God, I 
have to eat these two. Why is there never any food? Why is there so many sheep? I've never seen so much sheep in my life. This is horrible. Am I going to starve again? I can't starve right off the bat. Oh, this is horrible. Is that... No, it's, it's more sheep. Confound it. Oh, this is insane. Why is there only sheep? forget anything else that I see here. I, all I need right now is food. Wow, is this whole episode just going to be me looking for food? People are going to be... I wonder if anyone's like... If I've missed something, people are like, Hey, stupid, you missed that cow or that chicken. It's almost worth the risk to go in a cave and just try and fight a zombie for its zombie flesh. Speaking of which... Ah, oh, finally cows. They had better drop something. And I have to cross a ravine to get to them, of course. Come on. I would sprint to them, but that would just waste hunger. I need to conserve as much as I can. This is some dangerous terrain. Don't fall in there. He's trying to fall in there, just to spite me. Hey, it's worth it to... Go down there for food. And I think I'll make this ravine my base for now because it's got tons of resources and in fact I don't think I'll stay here any longer to get some coal and cook this food and then I have to go find more food because knowing from my previous the previous round I'm gonna need to uh why this music just seems loud to me I know why that is too Okay. Done. Sorry about that. Making a furnace. Had the volume not on this, not on the Minecraft user face, but uh, the volume on just my general volume on my c computer was a bit high. Well, that's cooking. I'll get this. I'm going to need coal as well, but not as much as I need food. And at the moment, a farm is out of the question. That just takes too much time. Yeah, I have to rethink my strategies here, because my strategy in the previous round failed me miserably. I ended up dying pretty much right away. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe I should do like a hunter-gatherer type thing in between gathering food, just go hunt for, uh, like, go mining and once I get low on food, uh, go hunt for some food. What's the time looking like? Oh, I can't let this guy go to waste. You mad cow? I'm gonna eat you. Ah, oh, starving. See, we learned. Now I need a stone pick. So I'm not going to miss the opportunity to get some resources. There we go. Some iron. Mm. And I'm gonna have to stay here for the night. I really ought to get some more wood. That's what I should do for the rest of the 
daylight. I don't need that many axes. Just the one should be more than plenty. And it won't be sprinting during the hardcore mode challenge either. It's very tempting for me because you move around the faster, but it just burns through that hunger. I don't care for these redwood trees. Is that what they're called? I always call them pine to myself, but... They leave floating trees fairly easily because they sometimes grow so tall. I prefer the, uh, like the dogwood, the uh, birch trees. You know, the white ones. Because they rarely ever grow super tall. Usually you should be able to reach them as long as you leave one log at the bottom. And as interesting as that was, my talking there, we are done collecting wood. But, yeah, it's almost night. And, uh, where? Where in this hole? Oh, I think it was right here. So, I don't really have a base situation set up yet, but... I need to get wood, because I'm going to use up all I have right now. And... This is going to be important. Place some light, so I don't get stuff spawning on top of me. Because if anything will kill me, it'll be a creeper falling on me. And I can get some seeds. Maybe later, if uh, lasts long enough, I can build a farm. Just light everything up and I guess dig out some dirt and block this place off. Time to do that. Get some. Well, I'm cutting it close. I think uh, stuff's gonna start spawning on top of me. Oh, and I don't even have stone to spare. Crap, I think they're already spawning. No, that's not helping at all. Crap. I'm taking too much time. And... Really pushing it. Okay. See if this will seal me up. So, yep, barely. I got three iron, so yay! First day, three iron. That's a new record. I don't think I got any iron last video, or last round. Oh, why did I do that? And I got plenty of wool to make a bed. Hopefully nothing will spawn at me. And just in case I'll have my sword out ready. Yay. Was not murdered in my sleep. And I don't really think I want to reuse this base here. But, anyways, this is the first episode in the second round. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, why not give a look to Viticus's perspective of this map. See how he's doing. He's a very colorful person. And thank you for watching.